says it's recording. Okay. And um, our uh, Parks uh, Committee is now in session, um, and it is October 9th. And we will do roll call. We've got Alder Weary. Here. Alder Presley. Here. Alder DeLee. Here. And I'm here as well. So we're all here. <coughs> um, and um, uh, let's go ahead and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, looking for approval of the agenda. Motion to approve. By Alder Presley. Second. Second by Alder DeLee. And all those in favor say aye. 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 That passes. Approval of the minutes. Motion to approve. Motion by Elder Preston. Second. Second by Elder Weary. All those in favor say aye. 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 And that passes. Uh, regular business. Consideration with possible action on the request by the Baird Creek Preservation Foundation to host a prescribed prairie burn in the Baird Creek Greenway adjacent to Mackenzie Lane. Director. Yeah, so first of all, I do want to state that I didn't amend the agenda. So last week I posted it with three items on the agenda. I did pull one of the items because we weren't ready to discuss it. So now there's only two. Uh, so in regards to this particular um, agenda item, a uh, quick summary for you. So uh, the Bear Creek Preservation Foundation has completed several prairie burns uh, within the parks and greenways primarily obviously the Bear Creek Greenway uh, to help with their, their prairie restoration efforts. In every, syst in every um, occurrence where we've allowed this to happen, we have brought these burn agreements or burn plans to the Park Committee and City Council for approval the first time. And then once it's approved, then they're allowed to continue with the burning throughout the years, you know, every few years, they would just continue with it if this plan is approved. Uh, in this instance, uh, this particular location has never come forward for approval uh, to do a burn in this location. So if you look at a map on the last page of the uh, burn plan, uh, for those of you who are familiar with this, this is kind of located by Baird School. Uh, so if you just take Mackenzie Lane, which is just past Baird School and go south, uh, you'll hit this little greenway area. Right now, the only thing that's in there is a stormwater pond. And then we did plant grass seed for a possible athletic field uh, adjacent to the pond. Uh, what Bear Creek Preservation Foundation would like to do is turn that grass area into a, an official prairie. Um, I, as a parks department, we're supportive of that. Uh, that's not really the request here for today. Uh, but it is, I'm supportive of it. We haven't used it for an athletic field since uh, we planted the grass, I don't know, maybe eight years ago. Uh, so if we haven't used it since, I don't see us really ever using it in the future. Uh, so we're okay with converting it to prairie. Uh, so that's the purpose of the barn is to uh, kind of prep the site uh, for a prairie seeding in the future. Uh, the Bear Creek Preservation Foundation did uh, contract with um, NES Ecological Services and uh, to put together this uh, prescribed burn plan at the USDA. So the plan has, um, has been reviewed by staff and we're in concurrence that this is a good plan. Uh, with, you know, they're comparing it to the other prairie burns that we've approved. If we were to approve this, I would make it contingent upon the fire department approval, review and approval of this plan. Typically, that's one of the steps in the process, and I haven't had a chance to uh, contact the fire de department to ensure that they have reviewed this plan. But I, I will take that step before we allow a, a burn to occur. Uh, but what this plan does is it really just highlights the, the process and the procedures that they're going to go through in order to ensure that it's a, it's a successful barn. So they'll have at least three people on site. They'll have a UTV there with a water tank. Uh, they'll burn it in a controlled manner and then go through it and make sure that everything's put out before they leave. Uh, the fire department is notified prior the day of the burn or the, or the day prior to the burn. 
so that you know they know that if they get any calls regarding the smoke, uh, there they know what's going on, and they and they have a staff ready to uh, call if necessary. Um, we also do, if it works for our schedule, we also do allow the Green Bay Conservation Court to participate in these burns. It's not mandatory that they participate. If they're able to and if it's within their schedule, uh, they'll help out and be on site as kind of extra eyes on the project. Uh, they would not be the ones doing the burn because they're not necessarily trained in prairie burns. They're just an extra eye uh, in case, uh, you know, just to make sure it doesn't get out of control. So, um, any questions for me on the location or the purpose or the plan itself? Uh, one thing I was going to ask about the about the fire department, and so you already answered that. Anybody else? Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Is that motion, motion to approve <laughs> pending the fire department approval. <laughs> Second. Okay, motion made by Alder Weary. Uh, seconded by Alder Presley. All those in favor say aye. 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 And that passes. All right. Go to the next item. Consideration with possible action on the approval of a utility easement with Wisconsin Public Service Corporation to provide gas service to the Triangle Hill Sports Area. So all utility lines that are installed by WPS uh, require a formal easement in order for them to do the installation. They won't install it even if it's a private line without a, an easement to, to place. So there already currently is an easement in place for electrical work. Uh, what they want to do is to, in essence, allow gas lines to be installed within the same easement uh, that's already in place. Uh, the purpose of the gas line is, to, is for heating the shed that we're going to be putting in for the uh, to house the snowmaking equipment, so that's the reason for the gas line. So it's a request that city staff made to WPS, uh, and um, we do want to see that work happen in the near future, so I would recommend approval of the easement. What I would say, though, is um, this easement has been reviewed by the law department, and they did have one change to it, which I was not able to get um, included within the packet. So I would probably recommend making this contingent upon law department review and approval of the easement also. I know they've, they've reviewed it. The comment that they've had is a standard comment that we've had in the other easements that we've approved. So WPS won't have a problem incorporating it. It's just not in this final draft in front of you. And it's, it's kind of in relation to the indemnification language so it's a minor change, but it's something that the law department would like incorporated into here. Okay. Um, Will that be changed before Tuesday? Hopefully. Okay. Um, but either way, even if it's not, a, it's contingent upon their law department mm -hmm. review and approval, and the law department will not approve it without that language being put in. Okay. Any questions? Motion to approve contingent on law department review and approval. Okay. Second. Elder Presley, uh, seconded by Elder DeLee. All those in favor say aye. 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 And that passes. Um, and all of the items on our agenda tonight will be going to the full council next Tuesday. So um, the last thing on the agenda is informational director's report on updates and recent activities of the parks, recreation, and forestry department. So yeah, it's a pretty comprehensive um, uh, report. Uh, I don't specific to call out in regards to it. Uh, any questions that we have to answer. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, we do. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, excuse me if I missed it in there, but how, how was our pool year this year compared to the last couple of years? Um, do you know how attendance was this year? Offhand, I don't have yeah. that information. I mean, offhand, I know, I know it was better, honestly. Um, for all, we don't have the final numbers, I don't think, yet, but we'll get it to you. Okay, well then, look for a motion to receive and place in file. Make a motion to receive and place in file. Okay, motion by Elder Galee to receive and place in file. Second. Second by Elder Weary. All those in favor say aye. 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 And that is received and placed in file. Um, our next meeting is October 23rd. And? 
motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn by Elder Presley. Second. Second by Elder DeLee. All those in favor say aye. 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 And we are adjourned. <laughs> that was fast. Wow. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. To fight more. Yeah, I know. What happened to those first few weeks? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, although we 